Calls for Spitzer to resign are being made after the New York Times revealed his links to a prostitution ring. If Spitzer steps down, David A. Patterson, who was elected lieutenant governor in 2006, would take over. The legally blind lawyer turned politician began his political career in 1985 and became the first minority leader of the state Senate in 2004. Does he know he's black? (laughs) Has anyone uh, ever told him? Uh, this uh, happened uh, after uh, how many years? No, he was like three months old. Oh, he, he didn't have time to find yeah. out. He might not even know he's the first black governor. <laughs> I was going to say Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles. They don't. Oh, Ray Charles, he might, maybe. He but. might get in. He might get inaugurated and go. What the fuck do you mean, first black governor? Do you think you could take a blind white guy and tell him he's black? Sure. And change his whole life? Yes, of course. <laughs> Let's I've done that, that as a goof. Let's try. <laughs> I did that to a blind guy at summer camp. I told him he was blind. <laughs> well, that's like Stevie yeah. Wonder uh, had to live in the penthouse of this building uh, in L.A. And I was mm-hmm. like, why wouldn't they just put him in the basement and tell him it's the penthouse? <laughs> right. Yeah, there was probably a lot of that going on. Patterson's political ambitions are a family trait. His father was the first non-white secretary of state of New York and the first African-American vice chair of the National Democratic Party. Yeah, I mean, no one pays attention to who the lieutenant governor is until now. I'll tell you, though, uh, Sal wrote a great bit about the first black governor. I oh, my God. Oh, my I God. I didn't even play it. it did, did, did you not only was it, it? Yeah, not only was it not funny, <laughs> not only was it every racial stereotype, but there was no joke. <laughs> yeah, you Just Sal you want to hear it, his racist it. philosophy. All right. Yeah, well, it's just stupid. This is Sal. You know, oh, look. He even figured it out afterwards. He said to Gary, don't play it like, a, you know. He didn't say don't play it. He was like, you know, maybe it, maybe it isn't good, but he never doubles on back on a bit. He must have figured it out. Somebody must have said something to him. Yeah. Here's Sal's bit. It's the it's David Patterson after he becomes governor, governor holding a press conference, I guess, <laughs> playing up the fact that he's black and with a big, you know, hello, dad. Which I don't even mind that fine, but have some jokes when he's saying it, yeah. and then well, you'll and, see. Then, and then you'll see, and then it, the kicker is, is, of course, that he's blind, so he plays on that as well, Robin. All right. Breaking news: Elliot Spitzer steps down, and we bring you to a live press conference with new New York Governor David Patterson. Governor, step to your left a little bit. Okay, he's to my left. Uh, governor, approach the podium. Okay, he's approaching the podiums. Podiums. Well, hello, there, people of New York. Isn't that a great black impression? Wow. It gets better. Oh, wait, He wait. must have been practicing. Wait till the big jokes start rolling. <laughs> it be as an honors and a pleasure to be. Like, where am I going to play this? You know what's really <laughs> sad about this? Sal's goofing on this guy for uh, a lack of intelligence. Right. And he's the dumbest guy on the planet. And that's why it's not funny. Right. He's not t- intelligent. Oh, new governor. Governor, look out! <laughs> What happened? And then the he, just, governor, he just fell off. The, the governor rib. fell off the stage because he's blind. And then pull a rib. Is the, pull a yes. rib supposed to be because of ribs? Absolutely. Oh, I know Sal's head. blacks are into ribs. Y- you know what Sal was talking about <laughs> yesterday, man? He, <laughs> he's crazy. He was talking about that. Um, he's not voting for Obama. Because he said, look at who Obama married. And somebody said, well, what do you mean? He's married a black woman. When push comes to shove, he has to make a choice. Who do you think he's going to pick? <laughs> I don't know what that means. What does that mean? I don't, I guess he's on. I think I, what he's saying is Obama is half black and half white. And he has chosen his black side. He chose side. I Who's he going to so. pick for what, though? I don't know. Well, <laughs> when the revolution comes. Right. When the blacks and the whites are at war, well, yeah. he's going to side with the blacks. I'm telling you, Richard, w- after the revolution, when uh, Obama's picking who gets on the mothership, <laughs> between you and a black guy, who's he picking? That's he's just... basically saying there will be no way for a white man to get a break yeah. right. under a black president. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should go back and talk politics. But anyway, thank you for the bit, Sal. I think I pulled a rib. Oh, oh ribs. In a a rib. Rib. Man, that's a mighty taste of rib. Hey, Gary, I just put together a bit for the new governor. I know it's quick, but <laughs> I hear Saturday Night Live's calling Sal. They want him to write for the show. <laughs> and I like Richard. Like, uh, press know, conference. Yeah, the press conference Richard character I liked. We could fit that into something else. Like. 
right, uh, the Robin, Times what else reports happened? that Spitzer was caught on a wiretap several times arranging a meeting with a prostitute at a hotel in Washington, D.C. last month. The other part of this is how recent it was. This was just last month. Mm-hmm. The report clashes with Spitzer's public reputation. Before he became governor, Spitzer was known as a no-nonsense state attorney general who reportedly and repeatedly faced off against corruption on Wall Street. And prostitutes. He even went after a prostitution. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. He was named Crusader of the Year in 2002 by Time magazine Hmm. and was considered a rising force within the Democratic Party. You know, he's a superdelegate. Did you know that? Yeah. I think, I wonder if he'll still go to the convention. I don't think he's going anywhere. (laughs) Well, I... I just heard this on the news this morning, too, that the lieutenant governors would be a super delegate as well. Yeah. So, uh, and is a Hillary supporter like Spitzer, I believe. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, this whole state, I mean, it's a, she's our senator. Right. This state is going Hillary. Um... Well, I don't know. She's a black lieutenant governor. Breaking news. <laughs> Elliot Spitzer he's going steps to... down and we bring you to a live press conference with new New York Governor David Patterson. Governor, step to your left a little bit. Okay, to my left. Uh, Governor, approach the podium. Okay, he's approaching the podium. He's the dumbest black guy ever, according to this bit. <laughs> and why does he think Elliot Spitzer chose a dumb black man? Why do you think black people pluralize everything? Okay. Podiums. Okays. <laughs> and, uh, and, yeah, and he just yeah, falls off the his, stage. His grammar is so atrocious. I know. Well, hello there, people of New York. It be as an honors and a pleasure to be your... (laughs) An honors and a pleasure. Uh Whoops! Hold it! Get it! Oh, man! Hold it, cow! Jeez, I think I pulled a rib. Uh, and I need to eat some watermelon. Didn't he make a mistake there? Any fried chicken? <laughs> the worst line in the the worst last line in the history of sketch comedy. Uh, he thought that was finished. <laughs> I That's think I pulled a rib. I think I, I say I say I say I pulled a rib. I say I say son. I hope that's a rough draft, and you're asking. It's very rough. Part. When are you going to add in the jokes? Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. Up? I just wanted to say hello. Goodbye. Right. <laughs> What's your whole rap on Obama? Who look who we married? I didn't hear that one. <laughs> No, my father brought up a good talk. I talked to my dad. Your father? Your father? <laughs> no, he brought up an interesting thing. He doesn't say many interesting things, but he said, look, he, <laughs> he said something to me. He said, he goes, Obama's half black right. and half white. Right. He said, if you had to guess who he's going to lean towards, who would you guess? Right. And I said, I don't know. <laughs> he says, well, take a look at who he married. Right. He could have married the white side. He married the black side. So and now you know, and no. a light bulb went off for you. Well, I mean, you, you, now you respect your dad because of that opinion. Your father it's, hasn't said one thing that made sense your entire life, <laughs> and now did. you're listening to him. We, but it does make sense. Pick what? When's he going to? When pick, does yeah. he have to? Pick? In other words, what is he? Who is he siding with? In what conflict? Exactly. When it comes down to it, I mean, what? to when what? It comes down to what? He should be for Americans. He's more in my based on what my dad said. He's more for the blacks because he's half and half. Didn't and he, you tell me he married an American? Didn't you tell me that? <laughs> When you were young, your dad beat you with a loaf of bread? Yeah, over my head. He hit you over the head with a loaf of bread, right? Repeatedly. Repeatedly. We were selling the hero shop in in West Islip. We were selling the shop. And And the guy was in the back, and my dad was all nervous because he was negotiating my father. My father was making the hero, so I said, Dad, I need a... uh, Meatball Parmesan. So my dad's hands are shaking. He's making a chicken Parmesan. I said, Dad, it's Meatball Parmesan. And he looked at me, and he picked up the hero bread, just started banging him over my head. <laughs> and the guy who was going to buy the place just walked out. He's like, this fucking guy's nuts. What the, but don't you, you've said before, I'm not saying anything new on the air, that your father might be somewhat racist or says racist things. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's really racist, but he's an old school dude. You <laughs> yeah. know, he's That's old school. That's racist. That's what old school was so all about. So your dad figured out that if he's married to a black woman, he's going to choose black people over white people i i would think he's half and half and my dad said hey you know he right. had Look the, who he we heard with. what your dad said what do you think what do i think he thinks it made sense who did he marry there's your i mean actions speak louder than words well, he said you should be for americans he married an american he married an american woman african-american what <laughs> what 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 I just, i'm just saying i just don't get it okay Howard made a very, very. But gra- your dad made Howard a great. Didn't your dad? I made a great point. What a point that I made. Shoot from the hip. Be brutally honest. You're not going to get ahead. I'm being honest right now, we based have, on what my dad said. That. I have. I have. <laughs> we love it. Well, I have, let me ask you something, Sal. If I was running for president, 
I, I wouldn't vote because you're a woman. That's a totally different topic. <laughs> no, dad... but at least you could say I chose the white side, maybe. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, no, yeah, but you started right. with the black side. So I might be for everybody. You probably will be. <laughs> Your dad uh, used to tell you to cross the street when you saw black people, right? right? He said they would stab me immediately. Right. And you said he was just old school, not racist. <laughs> yeah. Well, back in the days, didn't they stab people? I mean, oh you know, have you seen God. the tapes? Have you seen the riots? Uh, but uh, You were never in any riot. Neither was your father. I'm not a racist at all and what but when it comes down to when it comes <laughs> you might be no no i'm not really howard i respect in my old races and I, I get it history we have to say what's that i think by family history we have to say well you're a it's not genetic born racist. racism is not genetic <laughs> i gotta say your belly looks huge in that white shirt today yeah, wow you got really big. fat what's there to live for i mean right. who cares but all right, all right, i gotta move on with the news because right. i'm running out of time but i, I just wanted to make a point that mm. if something should happen see obama's automatically he's under a microscope howard and if right. he wins this race and something happens with the African American people and he kinda like pushes something through to their to their benefit, people are gonna you know, they're gonna come down on him. Like what? Uh, what would what like, would like, what could he do to help them? Let's say he pardons O. J. You know <laughs> Oh my get out of here, Sal. You're too funny. <laughs> I'm being dead serious. You think that as his first first act of president he might pardon O. J.? Uh, pardons O. J. But will he just open up the jail cells and let all the blacks walk out? If it happens, don't look at me. I'm not voting for him. <laughs> I, I, he's not going to do that. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that if he's half white and half black, as an American, you have to think. You where, said you would never vote for a black guy. No, I never. I said that as a joke to Tim Sabian. No, I, you told Tim you would never vote for a shine. Yes, as a joke, because, uh, wait a minute, see, Robin, this is taken out of content. Any conversation. Content. You, yeah, you there's no content. Of content. Whatever it is. No, no, I'm saying you took it out of what? It, it, I, I guess I made a wrong. I no, said no, 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 I'm asking you to repeat what you said. The content of the conversation, you, she's taking it out of it. She's taking it out, out of content. Con she's taking it out of content, right. Whatever. Right. Anyway, the word, I don't even the remember what... context. Uh, hellos there, people. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's how I get that. I just think of myself and the words come out naturally. But uh, the point I'm trying to make, Howard, is that... I like that he's goofy. <laughs> Who's this, Marianne? my mind. Not that that asshole spit the fucking got laid, but that you got a job with Howard. I just can't get over it anymore. That is the worst bit ever. Yes, it's me, Marion. Oh, uh, who cares what you have to say? It's sour grapes. You make me... It's not... What's sour grapes? I'm not sour, sour about anything. Take a shower, Richard Christie. Wash your ass. It's disgusting. All right, Marion. Thank you. All right. There's listen. no sour grapes. There's nothing... I, I got to move on. I said there was a joke one time on the air, Howard, that needed to be curbed, and I said that shine joke to Tim just... Because Tim had to take me to the side and, you, you know. said you would never vote for a shine. I said it at a dinner table with seven people and I elbowed Tim. And because Tim was very upset with me <laughs> and nervous around me, he says, you got to calm down on this racist stuff. And it's right. not racist to me. It's comedy. Right. So I apologize. But for what? I don't know. I don't even know what you just said. Me Thank neither. you. <laughs> <laughs> he always walks out of your dejected. I know.